Good morning everybody, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5, I think about that. Um, we're just about to set off to go to the airport, I thought to show my outfit. It's kind of boring, I didn't pack too much stuff, so it's all been like the variation of the same thing. Got in this cashmere jumper from Gap that I got from Zalando. My Celine leather jacket. Same Levi 501s as yesterday, and the same Gucci loafers. And I'll be taking my beloved Fendi bag. I'm definitely going to do what's in my bag about this in the new year because so far I'm very impressed with how much it fits in and would recommend but I want to see like how it wears in a little bit first before I do that but so far I'm really liking it and I will provide more information soon but first I've got to go have we got to go have we got to go am I stressing you out by being slow yes well my phone's over there oh, what's it doing over there quick run I've got the phone have we got everything else? Have you forgotten everything? Have you checked all the drawers? Have you got everything? Yes. Have you got your phone? Have you got your iPad? Have you got the computer? Have you got the cameras? Have you got all the clothes that you brought? Have you checked under the bed? What, who for? Have you forgotten things? I don't think I've forgotten anything, is it? I have got my Have you got the passports? Have you got the boarding passes? Have you got your phone? Have you got your house keys? Have you got your car keys? Passports, I've got my boarding passes. Well done, well done. Car keys are at the airport, phone and house keys are in there. Right, stop fussing then, come on, hurry up. Little bit. Oh, well, I'll, um, <laughs> go, 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 go. Our goal for getting home today is by six, ten to six, because Daphne, the fat cat, is in the cafeteria, obviously, and it shuts at ten to six. So we land at. We land at. We land at twenty-five past one. The journey should be. Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. So our goal is to get to the cafeteria for ten to six today. That's the goal of this vlog to see if we can get the fat one. And then tomorrow we're putting up the Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, delayed setting off we're definitely not going to be in time to get Daphne now because it's like gone two o'clock um so no Daphne today we'll have to get her tomorrow which is sad but yeah we're just going to go and get some water because we're so thirsty and then get on with the next bit of our journey what a boring day of vlogging I'm so sorry guys literally just travel all day long Just under half an hour left on our journey and we currently have 
about five minutes breathing room. So we need to be there at 10 to 6. And we're going to be there at quarter to at this rate. But we shall see how the traffic goes. We, didn't, we don't think we'll be able to do it. We'll be within minutes. Within minutes. If it's only the plane was on time, we would have been able to get deep and do da Daphne. Oh, that's sad to pull sorry, but she doesn't know. She's so stupid, she doesn't know. You can get her half eight in the morning. She won't know, she doesn't know. Even if she, cats could tell the time, Daphne wouldn't be able to tell the time. <laughs> um, oh, no cat friend. What, are we having a tea tonight? I have no idea. We're going to that We can stop and think about it and get something. What do you want? Mm. So we're nearly very nearly home now and the place where mum lives, Billy and Wharfdale, has some very excuse me, I've got hiccups by the way, has some very impressive Christmas lights every year. They are they basically just go all out and there's never a theme with it. They just kind of put everything that they've ever acquired that is a Christmas light up all in one go every single year. It's impressive. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about these hiccups. So we're just about to drive into Berlin Wharfdale now and I thought that I would show you the Berlin Wharfdale illuminations because they are very impressive and not definitely tasteful but very charming. So this is the main bit of Berlin Wharfdale. There's lights on the pub here and here we go. It's intense. <laughs> Look at that tree. And then it's all up here as well. And here there's a nativity here. More here. I literally cannot show you at all. He did one of those 360 degree vlog things. Home now, instantly. Got the headband on and my jammy bottoms. Um, I'm just gonna do some work for the evening and also do a bit of Christmas shopping online, I think. I was just put on a very, very fancy dinner with fish fingers. We're gonna have a fish finger sandwich for tea. And I've got a cup of tea here, and it's the first proper cup of tea I've had since Friday. Oh, nothing is better than that moment. <laughs> What? <gasps> Are they? Yeah. The blue pine cones? Yeah. Oh my god! Right, these. Not too many. Not... Well, you have to wait for the fire to yes. get going first. Uh, where, they, where did you get them from? I got these on Amazon. And how much are they? They're quite expensive. Yeah. How much are they? I can't remember. Oh. Uh, she's, a... she's not a very good blogger. So don't say, don't. Right, let me to explain what they are though. Right, these pine cones, you throw them into the fire and the fire turns blue in real life. They're so cool. Yeah, Lakeland used to do them. Is that where you got them from last time? Yes, they still do them. Ah. But I just happened to do these on Amazon because I wasn't going to. Blue fire makers. Oh, I'll show you when our fire gets going. We'll make it blue. <laughs> <laughs> we are just about to resume testing mince pies. We've now got the M&S Star mince pie. I have already tried last month the M&S normal one without the star on, so we'll see if this is any different. It's got a posher casing. You think it's nicer, you said? Mm, let's see. Alright, pastry. That's a nice pastry. Mm. It's very short. Oh, my criticism of this one mm -hmm. is that the mince needs too thick. It's not, it's very like, stodgy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very stodgy mince meat. Mm -hmm. But, um, what do we get the booze for? Seven. I think if you microwave it, it needs to be very special. Yeah, I think that these need to be warmed up, I think, because mm. that mince meat is really thick. Mm. I'm going to go with a seven again. Oh no, I give these eight and a half. Would you? Mm -hmm. I think that's quite generous. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to try that. Okay. Mm. Well, it's nice, but mm. there's no mince meat for me. Okay. Okay, now she's going to make the fire blue. Let me get to a good angle, so we can see. Oh, that's so hot. Right, I'm ready. Ooh, oh, oh my god. Carpet. 
Can you see it's starting to burn blue? Yeah. Move your head! <laughs> I'm worried about not setting fire to the carpet, don't mind. Mm. Right, you can see where it's going blue. Can you see? The last year they went blue all over, but is it just taking a while? I think it was how many put in. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's not as impressive as, as I was hoping. Oh. Admit the whole thing went like crazy blue last year, I'm well, sure I of it. Well, I put a handful on that. Oh, uh, okay. It. No, it's all right, we get the idea really. Oh, go on then, one more. I'm missing oh, you them, missed that, that. yeah. Missing you are missing it entirely, pretty much. Probably maybe you put them in when you're at night. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, that's what it does. You can put enough and the whole thing will go blue. You can see it here. So hot to get in oh that's the best feeling getting into this bed this my bed at home this one is the comfiest bed in the whole wide world literally it's the best ever um but yeah hopefully you have enjoyed today's vlog on this i'm sorry it has literally mostly been traveling which has been kind of boring um, and it's really hard to make that interesting as well but i'm doing lots tomorrow because we're going to get the christmas tree tomorrow and put the christmas tree up in the morning i'm going to get daphne as well in the morning and also I'll be going back to Manchester and I've got like an insane amount of work to do tomorrow when I get back filming stuff for the clothes like at Manchester so I can't film it tomorrow here um, before, because I then go away again on Wednesday so it's really really busy, it's all really really exciting and good stuff to share with you guys so thank you so much by the way for all your lovely comments on everything so far, I'm really glad you are enjoying it all, I'm really enjoying doing it as well which is really good but yeah. I'll see you tomorrow.